Hello, I just wanted to introduce this first assignment that we have this week related to our theme this week of abstract art. So the first assignment is to come up with some basic ideas and put them on a page, whether it's a digital page or a, a real physical, actual real page that you have. And it can be any type of paper for this particular assignment. Uh, ultimately, our goal is to make a practice plan to come up with ideas and practice drawing what images and tools we could use to make our own mixed media abstract art. So we're gonna organize in a very specific way. So it's not exactly like a rough draft because it has a specific format that I want you to use that could be a tool for use for other classes as well. But then I also want you to practice drawing what you wanna do for your images in the project. So we're gonna do it in this format. I'm calling it an idea table because this is what's called a table. I want you to break it down to two basic ideas that you could use based on your own personal interests of things you would like to do or things that you like to play or watch or anything related to something that, that's related to you. So again, focus on something that is all about me is a really good key to coming up with ideas for an assignment for a project. For, for, for either idea, I want you to make a list of different materials or tools or things that you could use in your artwork. And it doesn't necessarily have to be traditional tools um, for your artwork. But then also I want you to practice drawing the, the lines and shapes and colors and textures that you could use to represent that idea. You have a choice of either creating one with your own paper, um, using lines, shapes, colors, textures, and different materials, or you can use a digital idea, create a digital version of this using the same format. You would open it up and you would click on the length and width is 1,000, make it a blank page, and press create to create your own. Either way, I decided to make an example of both my ideas with my number one idea because I personally like nature. I created that as my first idea in this column here. And then in the second column, I also like to play sports. So I, I have that as my secondary idea. Um, either way that you choose, I want you to put down a list of materials that you could possibly use. It doesn't necessarily have to be something you use officially, finally, for your final version of your assignment for the project. But I want you to just come up with some basic ideas. You can always change those ideas later on. Uh, for nature, I decided to use like images of leaves and things that I would find in nature, water, for example. And then um, I could possibly use paint, pencils, markers. I could use a lot of different things too. Just jot down some of my basic ideas. This doesn't have to be set in stone. It doesn't have to be the final idea that you have for your final project, but just some basic ideas I want you to come down with, um, come up with. I mean, so for sports, I thought maybe fabric or even medical tape, um, colored pencils, pens, markers. Those are basic things that I could use in my final art project or even digital art forms. Like I can even use this platform um, called Sketchpad for my artwork as well. Or I, can, or I can do collaging. So I want you to be able to come up with different materials. If you're using digital art, it would be a different layers. We're gonna think of this type of project and abstract art and mixed media as layering things on top of each other. So we're not just doing one thing and that's it. We're gonna do different layers of different things. And then I want you to be able to zoom in on this very specific part of whatever you think would be an interesting composition, which means the way the things are laid out on your page. I want you to zoom in to where the edges uh, of the paper would actually represent the very edges of your final paper for your final artwork. That way it will be even more abstract. That's a really important part of abstraction. And that's a really good hint to how to do this assignment. Uh, so again, I used the same ideas, but then I drew it out. And then I zoomed in on this little box here. This is where it represents the very edges of my paper for my final art project. So that way I can even make it even more uh, even more abstract, which is what our goal is for this assignment. Either option that you choose, I want you to put down your ideas. I also have some key ideas here with this, uh, which is also on the intro page, about how you can incorporate different types of things into your artwork. Um, if you choose a digital version, you can do a screenshot of your work. And if you do a physical art, um, if you do a physical um, real in real life version, like I showed you earlier, then you would just take a picture of it, put it really close to the camera. Either way, I want you to have this assignment and just kind of just basically come up with some basic ideas. So email me if you have any questions. Thank you. Have a great day and enjoy.